When we substitute the values for pi, frequency, and inductance into the equation, this gives us an inductive reactance of 1,256 ohms. With one amp flowing through the inductor, that gives us a voltage of 1,256 volts. We draw this voltage as a line pointing straight up in the 90 degree direction from the end of the previous line to the point 1000 and 1256. The right triangle that we just created will give us the solution to this problem. The length of the hypotenuse represents the magnitude of the voltage. The angle is the phase angle between the voltage and the current. The lengths of the two sides of our right triangle are 1000 and 1256. The hypotenuse equals the square root of the sum of these two squares. This gives us 1605 volts. The angle between the two voltages is the arctan of the two voltages. The angle theta is 51.5 degrees. Impedance equals voltage over current. Since current equals 1 amp, it can be written as 1 at an angle of 0 degrees. Written in rectangular form, this gives us impedance Z equals 1000 plus J1256. Now let's get some practice working with impedance, admittance, and phase angles using the following rules. Number one, impedances in series add together. Number two, admittance is the reciprocal of impedance, that is, y equals 1 over z. Number three, admittances in parallel add together. Number four, Inductive and capacitive reactants in series cancel. And number five, one over J equals minus J. Here is our first example problem. Write the impedance 100 minus J100 in polar form. The impedance will be the hypotenuse of this right triangle. Notice that both sides are the same length, 100. In this problem, we must first calculate the length of the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is the square root of the quantity 10,000 plus 20,000. This gives us an impedance of 141 ohms. Next, we must calculate the phase angle of a rise of minus 100 and a run of 100. The phase angle is minus 45 degrees. Our answer in polar form is an impedance of 141 ohms and an angle of minus 45 degrees. What is the impedance of the circuit? Give the answer in rectangular form polar form and state the phase angle of the circuit. To solve this problem, we're going to convert impedances to admittance. Why? Because we can add admittances in parallel. First, we convert resistance to admittance. Admittance equals 1 over resistance, which is 1 over 100 which gives us 0.01s. Next, we convert capacitive reactants to admittance. That gives us 1 over a minus J100, which gives us J times 0.01s. Now, we can add the admittances together. So, we must find the length of the hypotenuse of the right triangle with sides 0 0.01 and J.01. We now plug the numbers into the square root and the sum of the squares. 
that gives us an admittance of 0 0.0141. Next, we find the arctangent of the right triangle with sides 0 0.01 and J.01, which is 45 degrees. We still have to convert admittance back to impedance. We invert the magnitude of the admittance, and that gives us 1 over 0 0.0141, which is 70.7. .7. We subtract the angle from 0, which gives us minus 45 degrees. So our impedance in polar form is 70.7 ohms with a phase angle of minus 45 degrees. Apparent power is simply volts multiplied by amps, volt amperes, without consideration of the phase angle between the voltage and the current. Power equals current times voltage is only true when the phase angle is zero. When the phase angle reaches plus or minus 90 degrees, no work is being performed, and so power is zero. In this circuit, the voltage is 259 volts RMS and the current is 2 amps RMS. First, we will calculate real power being consumed by this circuit. Current is 2 amps and resistance is 75 ohms, so we have power at 300 watts. Now we calculate apparent power, which is 250 volts times 2 amps. This gives us an apparent power of 500 volt amperes. How are we going to resolve 300 watts versus 500 volt amperes? The reason that these two numbers aren't the same is because the phase angle between the current and the voltage is not zero. We will resolve this by creating a new term called power factor. The power factor equals real power divided by apparent power. In this case, the, the power factor is 300 divided by 500, which equals 0.6. What is the power factor for an RL circuit having a phase angle of 30 degrees, 45, or 60 degrees? The power factor can be calculated from the cosine of these angles. The cosine of 30 degrees is 0.866. The cosine of 45 degrees is 0 0.707. And the cosine of 60 degrees is 0 0.5. When an inductor and a capacitor are hooked together, either in series or in parallel, when the inductive reactants and the capacitive reactants are the same, we say that the circuit is in resonance. Remember that inductive reactance increases with frequency and capacitive reactance decreases with frequency. Since resonance occurs when the reactances are equal, we can calculate the resonant frequency of an inductor-capacitor pair.